dear brothers and sisters, today's gospel we have the parable of the talents. Through these talents, we are asked a question. Can the followers of Jesus remain passive and yet be faithful? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with and your spirit. spirit. As we begin this Eucharistic celebration, let us prepare our hearts by recalling to mind our sins and asking pardon from the Lord. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have, have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and received adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice, which I had heard speaking to me like a trumpet, said, Come up here, and I will show you what must take place after this. At once I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne stood in heaven with one seated on the throne. And he who sat there had the appearance of jasper and carnelian, and round the throne was a rainbow that had the appearance of an emerald. Round the throne were twenty-four thrones, and seated on the thrones were twenty-four elders, clothed in white garments, with the golden crowns on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning, and rumblings and peals of thunder. And before the throne were burning seven torches of fire, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne there was, as it were, a sea of glass like crystal. And round the throne, on each side of the throne, are four living creatures, full of eyes in front, in front and behind. The first living creature like a lion, the second living creature like an ox, the third living creature with the face of a man, and the fourth living creature like an eagle in flight. And the four living creatures, each of them with the six wings, are full of eyes all round and within. And day and night they never cease to say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. And whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him 
who is seated on the throne, who lives for ever and ever. The twenty-four elders fall down before him, who is seated on the throne, and worship him, who lives for ever and ever. They cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and splendor and power, for you created all things, and by you, by your will, they existed and were created. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our response. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Praise God in His holy place. Praise Him in His mighty firmaments. Praise Him for His powerful deeds. Praise Him for His boundless grandeur. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. O oh, praise Him with the sound of trumpet. Praise Him with the lute and harp. Praise Him with the timbrel and dance. Praise Him with the strings and pipes. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. O oh, praise Him with the resounding cymbals. Praise Him with the clashing of cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide, says the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, you, to you, O Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus proceeded to tell a parable because he was near to Jerusalem and because they supposed that the kingdom of God was to appear immediately. He said, therefore, a noble man went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and then return. Calling ten of his servants, he gave them ten manas and said to them, Engage in business until I come. But his citizens hated him and sent a delegation after him, saying, We did not want this man to reign over us. When he returned, having received the kingdom, he ordered the servants to whom he had given the money to be called to him, that he might know what they had gained by doing business. The first came before him, saying, Lord, your mina has made ten minas more. And he said to him, Well done, good servant, because you have been faithful in a very little, you shall have authority over ten cities. And the second came, saying, Lord, your mina has made five minas. And he said to him, and you are to be over five cities. Then another came saying, Lord, here is your mina, which I kept laid away in a handkerchief, for I was afraid of you because you are a severe man. You take what you did not deposit and reap what you did not sow. He said to him, I will condemn you with your own words, you wicked servant. You knew that I was a severe man, taking what I did not deposit and reaping what I did not sow. Why then did you not put my money in the bank? And at my coming I might have collected it with interest. And he said to those who stood by, Take the mina from him and give it to the one who has the ten minas. And they said to him, Lord, he has ten minas. I tell you that to everyone who has, more will be given. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. 
But as for these enemies of mine who did not want me to reign over them, bring them here and slaughter them before me. And when Jesus had said these things, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, people thought that the kingdom of God is going to come immediately. Jesus, in order to correct their idea, told them, it is not going to come immediately. The kingdom has already started, but it is not yet. Meanwhile, what have to do? You have the talents and abilities, gifts which God has given. Make use of them. Just like the two servants, that is, remain faithful and protective. They were faithful and they were also protective. Coming to the third person who came with one who received one talents or minus, came forward. He had a presupposition about the master, the king. He is a hard man, not generous, but he did not put that presupposition into his life. So he buried or put that minus in a handkerchief and remained. Here comes a question. Can a follower of Christ remain passive and be faithful? St. Luke says indirectly, one cannot remain faithful and at the same time remain passive. A passive person cannot remain as a faithful servant. In the gospel affirm that, I tell you that to everyone who has, more will be given, but from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work a human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be Blessed God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work a human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. Lord God, we ask you to save us and please to the sacrifice you offer a humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash iniquities, cleanse us from our sins. <clears throat> Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, 
we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord, and so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this case we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with the Francis our Pope, Oswald our Bishop, his auxiliaries, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohesh to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil 
graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the for kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power and the glory are yours now and, and for ever lord jesus christ you said here apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will we live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace <clears throat> Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Lord Jesus Christ with the love and mercy with your body and drink your blood let in order bring us condemnation Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb Lord I am, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my, my roof but only say the, the word and my, my soul shall be healed My Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. never permit me to be separated from you amen I am the light of the world says the Lord whoever follows me will not walk in darkness but will have the light of life Let us pray Grant that you are faithful O Lord whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament may so benefit from your beloved son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever amen, amen. the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen, amen. go for the mass is entered thanks, thanks be to god, god.